hello, Jeff speaking. Yeah, mate, uh, you put an ad in the paper for the room of the house? Yeah, I did. Mate, what's the deal with it? How much in rent are you asking? Uh, $80 a week. 80 bucks. Yeah. Mate, did you all sit around in that little circle drinking beer and come up with a magical figure, mate? Uh, no, it just popped straight out of my head, mate. 80 bucks, mate. It can pop straight back into your head, mate, because I'm not paying it, mate. <laughs> okay, what are you going to pay, right? Guido? Mate, uh, maybe I'll pay 20 bucks a week. 20 bucks a week, Guido. Yeah, you're making call it your dickhead allowance, mate. Yeah? All right? Now, mate, I've got a few minor problems with uh, the whole share bullshit, all right? Yeah. All right? I don't do it. You don't do it, Okay, yet. mate, so we will set up no-go areas in the house. All right, you listening? I'm listening. Okay, rent boy, here's the deal, all right? <laughs> okay? No-go areas include the TV room, the kitchen, and the bathroom, all right? So when you, I'm in there, not, shut not up, dickhead, I'm talking. You're not going do not there, you talk say. over me. Do not talk over me. <laughs> When I'm in there, you do not go in there, all right, to paint your nails or get your frilly little dress for your big dad, all right? Okay. You listening? All right, mate, now a little bit worried when I move in there tomorrow, all right? Do you know why? Why? Because I got a king-size mahogany bed, all right? Uh, uh, and, and, mate, you could strain your back when you move it into the house. Okay, yeah. All right? Mate, you think I'm serious, don't you? I could strain my mate, back. Mate, you really think I'm serious, don't you? I mate, do. I'm joking, all right? Okay. Because I don't care if you strain your back at all, you skinny, skippy poof, all right? <laughs> you are moving the bed into the house and my 1600 kickboxing magazines, all right? Okay, yeah. So, mate, maybe you need to bulk up a bit, all right. okay? Oh, I'm bulked Maybe you hit the now, weights, mate. you I'm... skinny little poof, all right? <laughs> okay? Mate, have I called you at work? Yes. Are you a poof proprietary, mate? No, it's... Uh... Are you in the middle of a boom time at the moment, mate? <laughs> Flat out, Is that mate. Right? Mate, flat out. Yeah. Flat out in the poof business, mate. That wouldn't surprise me, mate. <laughs> okay, mate, here's how I pay rent, all right? Do you know how I do it? Uh... With a half-turn slinging snap kick to your ugly head, all right? And, mate, you can guarantee first of the month you will get it, mate. Okay. All right? Thank you, good. Mate, I'll be in there tomorrow, all right? Okay, I look forward to it. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Good afternoon, Vanessa speaking. Yeah, mate, uh, Vanessa, mate, I'm thinking about updating my wardrobe, right? Yeah. So I think I'll do it at your store. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, no worries. But first, mate, uh, we need to work out a few things, all right? Yeah. Now, mate, I'll tell you why I need to come into your store, right? Okay. I had a look through my wardrobe last night. It is situation critical, mate. Yeah. I am down to my last 3,000 tracksuits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mate? Yeah. So, mate, I need to update, mate. No worries. Okay. Come in and we'll help you out. Now, mate, do you do measurements? Of course we do. All right, mate. Will you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, mate, you will need to be wearing a wetsuit. You know why? <laughs> why? Because you will be slobbering, mate. <laughs> mate, you'll be like a bloodhound, mate, with a bone, mate. I've okay, got one. Okay, man. Now, I need to know a couple of things. All right, Vanessa? Yeah. All right. You got grope-resistant fabric in there? <laughs> yeah, we do. All right. Yeah. Mate, mate, have you got triple stitch? <laughs> mate, I think you got a triple stitch right now, mate. <laughs> from painting over me. <laughs> yes, we do. I can help you out with All that. All right, mate. That is good, okay? No worries. And when will you be in? Matt, uh, sometime tomorrow, right? Uh, I need uh, I need to warn you, though, right? Yeah. Right between you and me. Yeah. Okay. When I take my shirt off, <laughs> my body is so hot, <laughs> it will set off the fire alarm, mate. <laughs> no worries. Now, mate, wait till you take my measurements, all right? I will. Okay. There has not been a figure this big <laughs> since my uncle's last insurance claim, mate. <laughs> I believe that. All right, mate. No worries. I tell you, mate, if I flex my muscles, the suit will explode, mate. <laughs> mate, just like your heart right now. <laughs> I can't wait for you to come in. Okay, mate, now here's the deal, all right? You tell your boss this is a deal, mate. No worries. I take about $10,000 in clothes from you. Yeah. Mate, I am only prepared to charge you yeah. $14,000, all right? Half my appearance fee. <laughs> all right, mate, I will make, mate, I'll make your millennium sometime tomorrow, mate. <laughs> Mate, you'll have your hands on me tomorrow, right? <laughs> Trust me. Wear some strong nails, all right? Okay, goodbye, my friends. Bye. No worries.
Good afternoon, do you speaking? Yeah, mate, uh, you do the mobile phones in there? Yes, mate. Okay, mate, I need one. Do you? Yeah, mate. But what's the most expensive you got there? <laughs> most expensive I've got here. What sort of thing do you want to do with it, mate? Mate, believe it or not, I want to make phone calls with it. Mate, it's a brand new innovation for the 21st century, mate. Surprise me. Okay, mate. So yeah. what sort of phone you got, mate? You got a plan with it? Do you want it on a plan or do you want to buy it outright? Well, mate, I got my own plan, all right? Do you? I will take your stupid, pathetic little phone. <laughs> I will evaluate it for six months, make unlimited calls that you pay for. Then I give the phone back to you mm -hmm. and give you my thoughts and criticisms. Okay. Okay? No problem. Mate, I will do that, okay? Okay, we can do that. Mate, it sounds to me like at the moment your brain is not in a service area. <laughs> Yeah, mate, uh, just ringing up to book a ticket, mate. Yeah, when for? Mate, uh, two weeks from now. Okay, we well, got your date sorted out. Yeah, mate, two weeks from now. Okay. Mate, well, what sort of places you go, mate? Flinders. Like Fantasy Island? You got a Flinders Island, mate. Got Flinders Island. All right, mate, I'll go there, right? Okay. Yeah, mate, what about carry-on luggage? Well, your luggage is only 15 kilos. Mate, bullshit to that, right? Yeah, no good? No, mate, I need to take a lot more than that on board. Oh, right. Well... Right. My hair weighs more than 15 kilos, mate. Does it? Does it? <laughs> okay, mate. So, mate, I'll tell you, here's the deal, right? You listening, Charlie? Okay, yeah. mate? Yeah. But I'm bringing on uh, my subwoofer, right? I'm bringing on the stereo, right? Oh, yeah. Mate, I'll crank out some fat beats, mate, okay? Oh, right. Now, mate, I'm bringing some gym equipment as well. Yeah. Well, you never get it on. Mate, mate I will get it on, mate. Uh, yeah, mate, I am telling you, right? Yeah. You tell the dickhead pilot in his cute little sailor's uniform up the front, mate, yeah. that I'm bringing it on, mate. Oh, right. Okay, mate, I got some barbells, mate. Gee, uh, what are you moving out? No, mate, I just got to bring this stuff with me, mate. Oh. Mate, I got to work out, maintain my tip-top condition at all times, mate. Oh, right. Now, mate, uh, what sort of classes you got on the plane? Well, it's just one class, mate. Okay, well, you need to create one for me, right? Oh, right. Guido class. Oh, right. Mate, it's a dickhead-free environment. Yeah. Which means I don't think you will be anywhere near, all right? All right. Okay, that is good, okay? All yeah, right. Now, my movies, you got them on the plane? Oh, <laughs> no, we don't have movies on the plane. Mate, why don't you have movies, mate? Okay, mate, I want a movie and i got to be Enter the Dragon, okay? With Bit Bruce of, Lee, uh, mate. Kung Fu Yeah, mate. Stuff. Yeah, mate. Oh, all right, okay. Mate, like you enter the ugly contest, you know what I mean? Oh, right. So I'm into that? Yeah, mate. Oh. Okay. All right, mate. Well, I'll turn up there and we'll do it, okay? Not a problem, mate. mate the flight attendant, you got them on the yeah, plane? Yeah, we got flight attendants. Well, that, that is you wearing a skirt, is it? We got flight attendants, mate. That we've is got you with a bad makeup TV. job? You can join the Mile High Club. We've got special cards for that. Okay, mate. You, you, no, not a problem, mate. Bring okay. your barbells and your everything. All right, All right I'll do right, that, okay? Out. See you, mate. Goodbye. Bye, Ruth. Can I help you? Yeah, mate, I'm thinking of coming down to your restaurant tonight. Mate, I'll review your crappy restaurant for a kickboxing magazine, all right? I bet you don't know starting in the f***ing dick. That's all you are. Mate, 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 there's no need to speak like that to me, right? I'll review your restaurant right now. You review my f***ing dick, mate. Yeah, mate. Mate, yeah. <laughs> mate, it be a short review, mate. Good afternoon, be speaking. Yeah, mate, uh, how much are you charging there for a leg wax for a woman? Uh, who am I speaking to? Uh, mate, uh, I'm an interested person. Are you? Your voice sounds awfully familiar. Mate, uh, <laughs> probably because I played a leading role in your dreams. <laughs> who wouldn't happen to be uh, Guido Hatzis, would it? Yeah, mate. <laughs> Believe it or not, dreams can come true. I've been waiting for you to call me. Mate, I hear that from so many women. <laughs> So, so very many. Would you like a full leg wax or a half leg wax? Mate, I got an inquiry, right? Yeah. How much do you charge? Do you charge different for men and women? It depends on how hairy you are. Uh, believe me, mate, I'm hairy, all right? How uh, hairy? Mate, well, thanks to Bulgarian horse growth hormones, <laughs> I am quite hairy. Mate, well, I, I got hair on my hair. Have you? I got hairs on the hair on the hair on my hair, mate. <laughs> plush pile. Yeah, plush pile, all right? Plush pile, make the skippy chick smile, mate. 
May the old Greg son. May, now, may you uh, you charge more for the men? Uh, yes, if you're hairier, yes, we do. We have ma to because it takes longer. But uh, you have not seen my nana, mate. <laughs> How hairy is your nana? Uh, she's hairier than me. <laughs> mate, it was like she was uh, dipped in a vat of pubic hair at birth, mate. <laughs> All right, mate? All right, thanks, Guido. Mate, at the end of it, we can still be friends. Yeah, absolutely. All right? Bye. I'm, I may take you on a date. <laughs> oh, I couldn't... I don't think my husband would like that one. Keep dreaming, my friend. <laughs> right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yeah, mate. Uh, you put the ad in the paper for the mechanic? Yeah. All right, let's talk about this, man. What sort of cars do you look after them, man? Anything. Anything? And everything. May you, uh, you touch jab crap? Yes. You do? Yeah. Well, mate, despite that, I'm still prepared to work for you, right? Now, mate, uh, make me laugh. How many days a week do you expect me to turn up? I don't know. That depends on the, lo the workload. Well, mate, listen, all right? I need the money, right? But uh, I'm not interested in working too long or getting to know any of the dickers in there, mate. I turn up, I tell you what's wrong with a car, you fix it, all right? Mate, I'm looking at maybe uh, two days a week, all right? But you pay me full time, right? Okay, mate, I turn up there and we start work tomorrow, all right? You listen, Grease Monkey? No, I don't think you're the type of man I want. Oh, mate, I don't care about your love life, all right? Let's talk about the job. Good afternoon. Yeah, mate, uh, you put the ad in the paper for the florist? Yes. Mate, uh, I'm thinking about taking on this job, man. Yes. Matt, uh, what's the deal with it? You're thinking about taking on floristry? Yeah, mate. Well, you need to go to school and learn how to do it first. Matt, 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 what do you need to know about flowers, right? You put them in a pot, you cut them up, you give them to some woman, she go crazy for you. Mm. Matt, that's about all you need to know, mate. Oh, uh, okay. So, Matt, it's a casual florist? Yes. Matt, let me tell you, I'll be so casual I wouldn't bother turning up, mate. Okay. Matt, that's a good Bye. idea, man. Now, mate, listen... Good afternoon. Yeah, mate, I just got my florist oh, degree, right? Excellent. Okay. So, mate, uh, I will come in there. Officer, the mayor, Lisa speaking. Mate, is the mayor there at the moment? Uh, the mayor's not sworn in yet. Well, mate, uh, just my luck, all right, because I am thinking about taking this job. You all right. Want, sorry? Yeah, mate, you heard right, okay? I, Gwira Hetzis, will be mayor. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, mate, I've got a couple of daring revolutions, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mate, so here's what's going to happen. Number one, from now on, council meetings will be at the VIP lounge at the Chevron, all right? Guido. Yeah, mate, and, mate, you don't have to worry, right? Because I already bring my own gold chains to the job, mate. <laughs> all right? Number three, mate, we will build a monument. To who? Chuck Norris. <laughs> All right? Now, mate, number four, another thing we will do, forget about giving people the keys to the city. May we give them the fluffy dice to the city, mate. <laughs> All right? Okay, mate, and another thing I'm worried about, all right? Mm. You know the garbage trucks, they're coming at 6 in the morning? Mm. Mate, they're too loud. Mm. Mate, I can barely hear my quadraphonic ProLogic subwoofers, mate. <laughs> okay, mate? Mate, you see the problem? Mate, I think you have voted for me already. With your heart. <laughs> all right? Mate, uh, the first mayor to be the lady's choice, mate. I think that would be me, mate. Um, is there anything you, you were wanting? Does the mayor's car have mags on it? <laughs> All right, Okay. Okay, goodbye, Thank my you for friend. Your call. All Bye. right, goodbye. Hello? Yeah, mate, uh, you just put an ad in the paper for share accommodation? Yeah, we did. Okay, man, now, uh, how much a week are we talking in the rent, mate? Um, three thirty three per calendar month. Okay, mate, uh, look, I thought about it. I'll take the room, all right? There's no need to thank me right now because I've still got a couple of questions, right? <laughs> okay. 
Hello. All right, mate. Um, hang on. I've just got another call. Can All right, mate. You take it. You get back to me, right? Yeah, mate, uh, are you talking about the house? Yeah, mate. All right, mate, first things first, right? Yeah. You need to change the whole music on your phone. All right? It's well, ridiculous. What do you mean? Mate, uh, it's not good music, right? But we move on, all right? Yep. Now, mate, you got a TV in the house? No, what do you reckon? Mate, okay, mate, because that will go in my new room. Okay? No way, mate. Mate, maybe I'll take your room. Maybe I'll take you. No, mate, I don't think you would, all right? That would not be a wise idea because you would lose my friend. I okay? don't think so. Mate, when I move in there, will you be there? Will I be here? Yeah, mate. Of course I will. I don't think you will because I'm dangerously close to evicting you. Are you? Yeah, mate. Oh, you're a big man over mate, the phone, aren't you, mate, big mouth? you've failed the attitude test, my friend, all right? Yep. Maybe you're a little cranky because you've stuffed too many tissues into your bra today. Nah, mate. mate. I think that could be the problem, right? Yeah. I'm putting you on probation, okay? Maybe you can go and stay at your husband's house for a nah, while. Maybe you can just go and get... Okay. Get... Mate, I hope you've got a couch because you'll be sleeping on it for a while. Hello? Yeah, mate, uh, I do not think we can live together, right? So I will give you an hour's notice. All right? Oh, f*** off, you idiot. Mate, you will need to pack your bags... Angela speaking. Yeah, mate, you just put an ad in the paper for the telemarketing job? Yeah, that's right. All right, mate, who do I speak to about it? <laughs> um, you have to have a good command of English to, to, to get the job, so unfortunately... Mate, whatever bullshit, mate, I can do it. So what you've got to do, mate, you... <laughs> you what, you got some crap you want to move to some dickers? <laughs> mate... No, you, I can't tell you, it's all hush-hush. So, mate, you got, like, training there. Yes, we do have training. Okay, is that like uh, how to pack up the office when the police are on their way? <laughs> mate, what do we do, mate? We try to move some dodgy product to some senile old granny. Uh, we get her credit card details. We keep making transactions <laughs> with her number. Yeah, we get, we get her credit card details. We go out on the town for the night. We work yeah, across mate. from Crown. We have a good time. Mate, I like your operation, <laughs> mate. Mate, you sound semi-legitimate enough for me to work there, mate. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, mate, I gotta ask. Yeah. You've got like an office heartthrob in there. An office heartthrob. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we do actually. Well, mate, tell that poof to pack it up and pack it in, mate. <laughs> mate, I know what you're doing. Yeah. Mate, you're keeping me talking so you can trace a call to find out where I live. <laughs> Ma well, let me tell you, right? There's a party on my pecs, and you're on the guest list, mate. <laughs> really, promise? Yeah, mate. You've made a mate. You made the cut. Uh, Promise? Yeah, so, mate. Actually, my boyfriend would probably give you a run for your money, I'd say. Mate, your boyfriend, mate, he would give you a run to your dress cupboard, mate, because he's probably wearing your skirts while you're out, mate. Mate, for novelty, why don't you try going out with a man? Uh, no, 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 my boyfriend's actually Spanish, very hot-blooded. Spanish? Very hot-blooded. Mate, like Juan Antonio Samaranch. <laughs> mate, is that your boyfriend, mate? Mate, you like the older kind, mate. Money. Juan, mate. Lots of money. Give Juan Antonio Puffer Ranch, mate. That's what I'm calling him, mate. <laughs> All right, mate. So, mate, I'll turn up there tomorrow, right? All right. You're welcome, Guido. Good afternoon. Yeah, mate. Uh, you put the ad in the paper for the uh, the owner driver. Yeah. All right. I speak to you about it. Yes, you mate, do. What you got to do for this job, mate? Oh, well, you got a vehicle? No, mate. Well, you got to get one. Mate, uh, no, I don't, uh, listen, mate, I don't got to get one, all right? This way you come into my plan, okay? You will need to provide me with a vehicle, okay? Okay? <laughs> I don't think so, mate. mate uh, I do think so, okay? Because I am not using my car to do this shitty little job, right? Well, then don't mate, ring mate, up. Mate, mate, you listen to me, right? When MC Hammer done the song, You Can't Touch This, he was talking about my car, mate. Okay? So, mate, why don't you run out, get me the car, and maybe I'll do your job, okay? Yeah, good idea. Mate, could even use your husband's pink Hyundai, mate. Hello? Mate, I'm wounded and hurt by your rudeness to me, okay? But we will progress from there, okay? Yeah, right? mate. Mate, maybe you improve your attitude and we could work together, right? I doubt it. Almost as equals, okay, mate? I, I pity you a little because obviously 
your blouse is chafing you at the moment. Can I help you? Yeah, mate. Uh, I expect the user about changing my name. Yep. All right, man. You got uh, a pen there? You write down my new name. Sorry? You got a pen? You write down my new name. No, what you need to do is lodge a change of name uh, application no, 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 form. No, 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 listen, all right? All what? right. But uh, here's the real deal, okay? I'm too busy to fill out dickhead stupid forms, all right? I ring you up, may you write it down. No, you'll you, need to... May you'll, you put it through the computer there. No, you'll may need... bang is official, all right? You'll need to fill out the form and lodge it with this office. The fee's $90. Uh, we'll need to... Uh, the form to be filled out. We'll need to see a copy of your birth certificate and marriage certificates if applicable. All right, mate. Here's the deal, all right? That sounds very sweet, like a fairy tale you tell to a stupid kid, all right? But I'm not buying it. May I tell you the new name? May you put it through the computer. Okay, let's no, go. No, I'm May telling you, no, we no, need no. a form to be filled no, no. out by you for us to accept the application. I can post this form out. You can bring it in and uh, complete it at the office, or you can just post it into us with a check or money order. May, um, may con you, contrary may, to what you believe. May, may you can wear a dress with a pop plan on your head for all I care, mate. All right? This is what we're doing. No, we're not. Okay. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Mate, I think that. we are, mate. I can post this form out too, or you can come in and fill it out, but that's the only way your name's going to be changed. Mate, what do I do? I post it back to you, do I? That's correct. All right, yeah. is that number one Dickhead Street? <laughs> mate, is that where I post it back to? Uh, do you hear me laughing? Mate, care of the man wearing the dress. <laughs> All right? You obviously don't want to change your name, mate. Mate, did I call Dead Pole or Dead Poof? Mate, I'm confused here. Yeah, so you're very confused. You've got no idea what you want to do, No, do mate, you? I want to change my name, you and that's what I'm telling name. you I'm doing. You'll be changing your name. Uh, well, you can you can assume a name if you like. It won't be legal. It uh, won't be legally recognised anywhere, but sure, you can do that. Mate, uh, your name of Mr. Poof is recognised everywhere, mate. Do you reckon uh, yeah, abusing mate. me will get you anywhere, mate? Mate, uh, I do not care, right? I will tell you what to do. You will do it. That's how it happens for me. <laughs> it doesn't happen at all like mate, that, I'm mate. afraid it does, all right? I'm afraid it does. Mate, I'm afraid it does. End of phone call. Man, no, I don't think so, mate. Good afternoon. How yep. can I help you? Yeah, mate, you got the, like, the degrees there? Yeah, we do. All right, mate. Mate, I'm looking at getting one, right? Yeah, well, what kind of degree? Mate, I'm uh, looking at, uh, like, law. Oh, okay. Okay, medicine. Mm -hmm. Psychology. Mm-hmm. And uh, that sort of bullshit, mate. Oh, okay. Now, mate, you got the uni there, right? Mm-hmm. Now, mate, say I turn up at, uh, like, a nine in the morning. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. Mate, what time do I get my degree, mate? Um, well, it usually takes about four or five years. Four or five years, mate? Yeah. But I can only get a three-hour park, mate. Well, may I ask, um, are you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander descent? Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Well, you're actually ineligible to come through our department, and I suggest that you perhaps call... Mate, I've got a Goano album. Mate, does that make any difference? <laughs> Solid rock, mate. Bakery. Yeah, mate, uh, you put the ad on the paper today for the baker? Uh, it has been taken. Mate, 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 uh, get rid of the dickhead and take it, all right, because I will have this job. Thank you. All right, mate. Baking. Mate, uh, I may have to put you on lesser duties for your attitude to me, all right? So this is what we do. I will come in there and start work as a baker tomorrow, all right? I don't want you here. Mate, uh, I think I will, all right? Thank you. And what time you start there? Thank you. What time you start in the morning? Well, I have a baker already. Man, 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 uh, no, you do not have a baker like me, all right? Well, I don't man, care. I'm quite happy with what I got. You should say what you may. You should hear what the ladies say about my buns, mate, all right? Well, I don't man, care what the ladies say about your buns. Man, 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 listen to me. I'm, I'm the not best, interested right? in you. Man, listen to me, dickhead, I've been donut, not listening right? to the job man, has man, been man, taken. Man, I do not like your attitude, my friend. You I'll don't like my attitude. The job has been taken. I'll have to let you go, my friend. Get off the phone. Man, you are getting a little worked up. This is Emma. Mate, what do you do? You're a checkout chick there? Yes, I am. Mate, when I come in there, you'll be checking me out, mate. I'm sure I will. Mate, I roll up at the counter. This is what you say to me, right? Sir, can I have a look inside your shirt? Because, <laughs> mate, that's where the goodies are, mate. Okay. I'll tell you what, mate. In a supermarket of love, I am a dollar dazzler, my friend. Oh, okay? are you a red spot special too? Mate, you got that right, okay? Oh, I can hardly wait. Okay, mate. It's unfair how good looking I am, mate. <laughs> Now, mate, I need to know something else, right? Sure. 
Pal. Mate, you got Pal in there? Yes, we do. Okay, that is good, all right? It's for my nana. <laughs> and uh, she is sick of the taste of chum. <laughs> all right, mate, and now you sell mints in there as well? We do. All right, mate, it's your lucky day, right? You know why? Why? My uncle runs a backyard abattoir, right? <laughs> really? And he can sell you some mints, mate. Uh-huh. All right, a bit of meow, woof, woof. A dollar a kilo, mate. Beautiful. All right, and do not worry about use by dates, all right? You know why? Why? My uncle always says, use by dates are a matter of interpretation. <laughs> okay, mate, I will come in there later on tonight, all right? If you behave yourself, I may blow you a kiss. Oh, you're so kind. Mate, you got that right. <laughs> kind and good looking and humble. What I, a package, mate. I can hardly wait. Goodbye, my friend. See you later. Hello? Yeah, mate, are you the clown? Yeah. All right, mate, uh, I need a clown for my nana's birthday. For your nana's birthday? What sort of stuff you do, mate? Well, we do the clowning stuff for adults. But what's, um, what sort of stuff you do for uh, adults, mate? Well, we... It's for your grandmother, is it? Yeah, mate. Okay, what we do for her, we make her the uh, the princess of the day, right? Yeah, mate. What's her name? Uh, Katula. Katula. Yeah, mate. Okay, she becomes Princess Catella, right? And we refer to her as Princess, right? Yeah, mate. We do some um, dancing and what have you, like the hokey pokey and this sort of stuff, to get everybody relaxed and warmed up. Yeah, mate. We use some uh, magic stardust there to a uh, bit of wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know? It's no, no good telling you because you wouldn't get the surprise, but it certainly works a treat. You going to have some grandchildren there? Yeah, mate, uh, there's a couple of them there, right? Eh? Okay, so they also uh, get the, the magic status because kids love this sort of stuff. Me and Matt, uh, Matt I've got to warn you, right? Yeah. Some of these kids are big, right? How big? Uh, about 80 kilos. <laughs> about 80 kilos? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. They right. are big kids then. If they do not laugh, they will get ugly. Right, okay. They needed to be um, amused a bit, do they? Yeah, mate. You've got to be funny for the money, right? You hear me? Mm. Okay. You tell jokes as well? Yeah, we tell jokes, yeah. Because I've got a joke right that I will tell there, all right? This is how it goes, all right? You listening? Yeah, go on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tax inspectors for Uncle Jim. Quick, hide the receipts, mate. <laughs> okay? I will tell that joke, all right? You do not tell that joke. All right? Okay. Now, mate, would you sleep with my nana for extra money? <laughs> there are limits to what the clown will do, and that's no, not one of them. Mate, mate, it's not a joke, all right? Yeah. I said you will sleep with my nana for extra money, all right? No, the Mrs. Clown won't do that. No, Matty, I think he will, all right? No, you think I will, do you? Yeah, mate, mate. We need uh, a laugh, all right? If, if you don't do that, we have ways of making you. Is that yeah, what you're mate, saying? you will do it, all right? Yeah, I see. Now, mate, this is the deal. You come round there. At the end of your show, right? I drop you with a kick, all right? Alan, Yeah, mate, I'm ringing up about being a paper boy. I bet it's paper boy. Yeah, mate, I speak to you about it? Sure can. Okay, mate, I need a bit of pocket money, right? Right. About 800 bucks a week. Yep, that's you... not a worry. Okay, you listen to me, Alan? Yep, I am. Okay, well, here's a news flash for you, buddy. I'm taking the job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mate. Well, look, hang on a minute. Um, I've got somebody who'll work for a bit less than that. No, nah, mate, forget about it, all right? Mate, I don't negotiate on price. You sack the other dickhead and I'll take the job, mate. Uh... Gee, you make it very hard for me. Okay, mate, listen, mate, that other guy you got, he can yeah. go and deliver the dickhead daily for all I care, mate. The dickhead daily? All right. And what a, how will you handle the complaints when they start coming in? Mate, a kickbox to the head usually shuts people up, mate. <laughs> right. All right, right, that's what I will do. That is my complaint department, mate. <laughs> now, mate, uh, for the job, mate, what do, you, what do you do? You do it in a car or maybe you borrow your little girly bike, mate? Girly bike. Yeah, mate, with the streamers and the floral basket at the front, mate. Yeah, and yeah, that would be good. Alan, all right, sit down, <laughs> listen, you might learn something, all right? Yeah, okay? I'm mate, it might make the front page of your brain, mate, okay? Yeah, right. All right? Mate, I'll be in there tomorrow, dickhead. Well, if you're there at a certain time, I won't be there. Mate, I like that arrangement, all right? Because I yeah, don't want to be... see your ugly face, mate. You? Yeah, mate, uh, ringing up about a personalised number plane? Yes, certainly. How may I help you, sir? Mate, I want to get one, mate. Yes, and what would you like to put on the uh, combination? Mate, at the front we write Guido. Right, that is me, right? Right. And at the back, um, mate, one word. Legend. No, you can't have that. Tell me why, my friend. 
because your number plates have to be exactly the same. Ma'am, 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 now listen to me, right? Other dickheads number plates have to be exactly the same, all right? Mate, I live my life all right. I do not bend rules. I break them, all right? But I am prepared to compromise with you, all right? It's your lucky day. We write the same thing on the front end and on the back, all right? Very good. All right? Okay, this is what we write. Guido. Guido. I'll just check for availability. Is there wait, a wait, 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 wait. I've not finished, mate. Guido, humble genius. I'm afraid not. No, wait, wait, wait. I've not finished, all right? Guido, humble genius and kickboxing Adonis. Sir, There's more. Exclamation no, no, mark no, at the stop, end. No, sir, because you're not going to waste my time. Mate, 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 uh, you, no, are, you, mate, you are very lucky this. that I've called I'm you, mate, all right? I'm not going to do this. Hello, Peter speaking. Yeah, mate, uh, you just put the ad on the paper for the room of the house? That's right. Okay, mate, well, here's the deal, right? I'll move in. Okay, all no right? problem. Mate, you and me, we'll be mesh mates, mate. Yeah, you're true. Mesh Think mates, some... all right? Mate, we'll yeah. be like Turner and Hooch. <laughs> but uh, but I think you'd be the schlobbering dog, mate. All right? Okay, no problem. All right, mate, that's no problem. <laughs> all right, mate, um, you sent to me like the sort of dickhead I can take under my hairy wing and uh, <laughs> maybe uh, teach a few things, too. <laughs> Okay, mate, right. no problem. Maybe teach you how to get the chicks. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mate, you remember <laughs> chicks? You remember them? Oh, I got heaps Mate, your of memory mate. goes back that far, mate? Mm. You will probably be humiliated by comparing yourself to my mind and my body, all right? Yeah, I okay? could imagine. Yeah, that'd, that'd be a tough call. Yeah, mate, yeah. it would be, all right? Your little <laughs> refuge for dickheads anonymous you got going over there, mate. <laughs> Okay, mate, well, here's the deal, right? I'll probably move into your crappy little area tomorrow, right? Okay. All right? We look forward to having you. Right, mate, get the house ready for my inspection. Okay. All right, mate, I found uh, your response to my unreasonable demands to be quite amusing. <laughs> so I'll be in there tomorrow, okay? Absolutely. Can't wait. Goodbye, dickhead. See ya. Good afternoon. Yeah, mate, uh, the paper you've got an app for the, like, uh, telemarketing? Uh, yep. Mate, who do I speak to about it? You actually speak to me? All right, mate. Um, so unfortunately, mate, our applications have closed for this round. Well, unfortunately, uh, I would disregard that. And uh, fortunately, I'm prepared to take on the job. Um, sorry, mate. sir, but you can't disregard. I've just told you the applications are closed. It's all, not... all right, mate, I'll take that on board. It's and not a very good start. Quickly dismiss it. And uh, tell you, so, oh, mate, turn up. Mate, I'll be a little bit late for work there tomorrow. Mate, I'll probably turn up about three, all right? So what you've got to do, you've got to move a bit of stock on the phone? Um, sir, I've just told you that applications have closed for this round. You can't yeah, just mate. turn up for work. You have to go through a process of application and interview. Okay, mate. Mate, that sounds like a quaint little process for other people. Unfortunately, because I'm very good looking, the rules don't apply. All right? So, um, thanks for your time, sir. So, but mate, your attitude is completely out of it control. It is fantastic, isn't it, mate? Now, mate, do you want the real reason I want the telemarketing job or the bullshit reason? I want the real reason. Okay, the real reason is I'm good looking yeah. and it will allow me to make a lot of phone calls to women to let them down gently. All right? Mate, it will save a fortune for me at home. Um... Mate, the bullshit reason is I love telemarketing. You know, yada, 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 yeah, whatever, mate. You know what I mean? Mate, I'll say whatever you want to hear. Okay, well, judging by this phone call... Um, yeah, mate, mate, I've got a great phone manner. I know uh, what you're going to say, mate. I'm, I'm the first no part way. of this process that you have to get through, and you've just failed it. Mate, I failed it? Yep, you failed it. Well, mate, why don't I come in there and I'll pass with flying colours, mate? You won't, believe me. Mate, when you, you can't see get me, past mate, me, you're not going to get past Yasser. When you see me, mate, you'll... Thanks for your time. Mate, mate, believe me. Your services are not needed in this company. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. How may I help you? Yeah, mate, are you uh, the hotel there? Wait, this is the switchboard. Mate, uh, I want to speak to the hotel you've got there. For reservations yeah, or for a guest who's staying here? Uh, for a guest, mate. Yeah, who's the guest's name? Mate, uh, somebody called uh, Streisand or something. But uh, all I got is these messages from somebody named Barbara. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, but may we she, don't have anyone uh, listed under may the she's, name may, of may, may, may she's probably got a false name, all right? Tell her, Guido... No, well, I don't have anyone staying by the name of Streisand in the hotel anyway, right, so what, can mate, I give her a message? What about Miss Wapperschnoz? Oh, you are so unkind. Mate, all right, mate, you put me through the hotel, I speak to them. Okay, all then. All right, mate. Good afternoon, hotel reception. Yeah, mate, I'm after a guest you got there. Hugh. Hugh? Yeah, mate, huge nose. Flowers. Yeah, mate, uh, I want to get some flowers delivered. Um, today? Uh, mate, we do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, okay, mate. not a problem. All right, mate, you write down the note on the card. Yes, what would you like to say? All right, mate. To the most perfect human being... Okay. ...in the whole world. Full stop. Right. A total vision of beauty and perfection. Okay. Next sentence, mate. Yep. Your beauty will never fade, mate. Mate? Yeah, mate. Okay. Now, what would you like to send? Mate, uh, we sent some flowers, right? Okay. Did you want um, something like a box arrangement? Or? Yeah, mate, the, that'd be a mate, the hugest, biggest bunch you got there. Okay. What's your name, sorry? Mate, uh, my name is Guido. And your surname? Hetsis. And who's it going to? It is going to, you're writing it down? Yes. Guido Hetsis. Are you sending it to yourself? Yeah, mate. Good afternoon, helicopters. Charlie speaking. Yeah, mate, uh, I need a chopper. I speak to you better. You sure can. How much it costs, mate? Where do you want to go? Mate, into the city, right? Yeah. Okay? Yep. You done with all the questions, Charlie? Yep. Maybe I ask a couple, all right? Go for it. Sit down and listen, mate. I'm listening. How many people you get in the chopper, mate? About 10. 10? Yeah. And then to make it 15, right? 15. Yeah, mate, maybe you need to lose some weight off your fat ass. We get some more in there, mate. <laughs> All right? Okay. Okay. No matter who gets to sit in the ejection seat. <laughs> Ma maybe I will, all right? You can do that if now you like, Now you listen yeah. to me, fly boy, all right? <laughs> mate, if you're flying, you do a shit job, I kick you out, mate. <laughs> we take her up to about 600,000 feet. 600,000. Bang, we drop on the nightclub. Mate, you drop me off. I do some boogie, you pick me up, all right? Uh, no worries at all. Okay, mate? Yep. On the way back, we do some donuts, mate. We drag off the police chopper. Man, the whole works, right? <laughs> okay, now let me ask you this, fly boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got a musical horn? Do you because, want us to put that in the chopper for you? Yeah, mate, because when we go past the police chopper, right, we'll be able to play the musical horn, right? <laughs> da -da -na -na, na -na 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 -na. Mate, like that, mate, to the, mate, to the cops, mate. <laughs> Goodbye, dickhead, fly boy. <laughs> How may I help you? Yeah, mate, I'm thinking of coming down to your restaurant tonight. Yes? Uh, there's about two of us. Two, yeah. All right? And what time you would like to come in? Mate, uh, maybe I'll get there about 8 o'clock, all right? 8 o'clock, yep. Yeah. And okay. what would be the booking name? Mate, the name is Guido. Guido? Yeah, mate. All right, now you need to do a couple of things for me, all right? Yeah? I will need a TV at my table. I don't have a TV on your table, sorry. You will need to get one, my friend, all right? No, sorry, I can't arrange that. Man, 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 I don't hear any violins, all right? I don't want a sob story. I want a TV. You get the TV at my table, all right? No, I can't arrange man, it, sorry. Man, you're going to have to arrange it, all right? I don't think so. Man, I think you do, right? I'm thinking of coming down there and spending 20 bucks, man. All right? Don't blow it. No, I'm not. But, man, I've got to watch The Pretender tonight. No, it's a top show, mate. mate. We do not provide TV in our restaurant on the table. We are fine dining. You can have good food here, but we don't have a TV. I will not provide a TV. I think you will provide no, a TV, not. mate. I think you will, mate. No. Nope. I think you and will, I mate. I do not for look forward to your visit, mate, my dear I, friend. Mate, I don't look forward to my visit either because I heard your food is shit, all right? That's Last time my nana ate there, she exploded from both ends, mate. Well, I do not have to listen to that, and I really do not want to see you. Man, 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 listen to me, right? Man, we all know you're the stomach pump kings, all right? But I come down there and I eat the food anyway, okay? But you will not have a TV. Man, I think I will. Nope. I think you will find one for me. 
You're listening? You do that, yes. Matter, that. matter of fact, it's the health inspectors on the other line, mate. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Premier, Mr. Beasley, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be back in f***ing Australia after eight f***ing years. Your welcome today has been f***ed. The Commonwealth has always been f***ed. All Australians can be enormously proud of this country's contribution to f***ing women. And it was a great personal pleasure to f***. John Eels in Cardiff in November last year. The Olympics and Paralympics will be an opportunity for Australia's sportsmen and women again to demonstrate to the world their natural talent for f***ing.